G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, regular viewers would have seen my old Chorblin 102 Toolmaker's Lay that I've had for quite a while. And I've been using it, uh, yeah, pretty regularly. It's on a stand specially made for it. And uh, the blue uh, single beam or torsion beam stand. And it works good. And up the back, you can see my temporary chip guard, you know, sort of uh, deflector. And that's just a bit of cardboard. And that's been there from day one. And I've always meant to put a proper chip guard on it, but I've never got round to it. And it's a little bit, a little bit awkward to fit one there. And I do walk behind there, so I want something that's removable pretty quickly if I have to sort of get big stuff through there. So I've just let it go. I haven't done anything. I've just mowed it on with a bit of cardboard and it's worked fine, you know. The same as when you have a... I've got another bit of cardboard I use on the Chinese lathe to stop the chips flying off from when I'm machining, you know. Cardboard's handy stuff. Really handy stuff. And uh, anyway, I had a thought. I uh, picked up a set of old shelving, light, really lightweight shelving off of the side of the road the other day and... I didn't want it. I said, brother-in-law, do you want it? He said, nah, it's too light for me. It's a real cheap stuff, you know, real tinny. And so I, I took all the nuts and bolts out of it, which were good, and I just threw the shells behind the shed. And I was just looking at them the other day, and I thought, geez, I reckon I could make a chip guard out, up out of those. So I'll show, you the, I'll show you the shelves I'm talking about. Here they are. They're really light gauge stuff, as you can see. But they're galvanised. They're in good shape. Oh few a couple of corroded but I was thinking I could use these to make the chip guard either go crossways one height or I could bolt them together and make a double height it just depends how much I need you know a low one might be good enough I might see how we go so that's the plan I'm going to use some of this and make up a, uh, a chip guard to the old Shorblum let's get on with it you can see here it is with the chip guard and all it is is a bit of cardboard that's bent on one end and what I could do is I could have it bent on that same end, same configuration, bring it across then I can also bend it and bring it in this end and I could, I think, attach it to the stand crossways. It's a bit hard to see I've got the camera up as high as I can go. This is the new tripod and it's brilliant, but uh, it's a bit awkward to film this. So anyway, I'll uh, get on with it, do a bit more. Right, well I've got the two panels together and I've got some bracing on the side. Oh well, we're getting there. Got the end started. Just got to brace it a bit. I think it should turn out okay. Well, I'll have to cut some more off. It uh, was too long, it just wouldn't fit in how I thought it would. So I had to change the plan slightly, so I've sliced some more off with the Hilda. And now I'll just take it outside and sand the burrs off. And then I'll put some reinforcing along here. And we're pretty close.
Well, there she is all finished. Well, I think it's finished. I'll put this heavy piece of angle on in here to add some weight to it so it won't wobble around because it's very light. And also brace it. And that will just sit in the tray so I can just lift it in or lift it out as I want to. Put some bracing up the side here as well. So the whole thing should be pretty good. It's pretty rigid. That's how it's going to sit in there. I think it should be pretty good. It's, uh, yeah, it shouldn't topple over. Some of the old cardboard one, it would fall over if you brushed against it, you know. So this isn't bad for a bit of scrap. And I can take it out as I want to. And uh, yeah, not bad for old shielding. Pretty good. So I'll show you what we had and I'll show you what we've got now. So that was the old one. And she's, yeah, she's a bit oily. <laughs> I'll put in the new one. Yeah, that grab you. a lot better. Here's another view of it from this end. Plenty of room for the light. Yeah, I'm pleased with the way that worked out. That'll be just be freestanding and I can just move it out as I want to. I could put some bolts through here on the bottom edge but it's it's really hardly worth it because it, it's it's quite rigid and I don't see the point of it really, so yeah, we'll just leave it like that for now. And if I want to, well, yeah, I can always bolt it to the tray, but it's not going to really do anything, I don't think. So there you go, another job out of the way, something that I thought about doing for a long time, but you know, it's just a matter of get the right stuff for it, and those old shelves were perfect, so it might be junk, but yep, you can always repurpose it and. Uh, at the end of the day, that looks pretty neat. I might even, I might paint it, I'll see. Yeah, I'd have to spray it if I painted it, otherwise it wouldn't look too good. So I might just leave it as it is for now anyway. I'll think about it. Okay, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cheers.